all i subi welcome you all for the online classes of class 5 subject mental maths today we are going to start our topic rounding of numbers as we have already studied this topic in our previous classes in our chapter number 1 large numbers from our book term 1 now after understanding the topic you need to solve various questions in our mental maths book the worksheets which you need to solve are mental maths 19 the question number from 9 to 12 and homework worksheet 16 question 1 to 16 these two worksheets are given in your mental maths book on the page numbers 21 and 58 rounding of numbers means to estimate numbers we can estimate numbers to various places as nearest to 10 nearest to 100 nearest to 1000 nearest to 10000 and nearest to lakh place let's learn how to estimate number to various places through our this video so while rounding of numbers you need to follow some steps your step 1 is to check the digit at the given place and then you need to check the previous place digit and then you will come across two situations or we can say two types of cases the case one if your previous place digit is smaller than 5 which means 0 to 4 so you will follow these two steps like digits of mentioned place will remain same and the previous place digits or digit will become zero and in your case 2 you need to check the previous place digit if it is more than 5 or equal to 5 means 5 to 9 so the digit of mentioned place will become digit plus 1 means the successor of given digit and the previous place digit or digits will become zero so learn these two cases and these two situations properly to solve various questions let's solve our various questions round off the following numbers the first number is 162 nearest to 100 let's find the hundreds place in our given number ones tens hundred so one is here at the hundreds place Now let's find the previous place digit. So the previous place digit is our six. Let's check this digit six belongs to our which case? Like six is greater than our number five. So six belongs to our case two, which shows that digit at mentioned place will become digit plus one, which shows. We need to add one number to our given digit. So one plus one is equal to two. If the digit previous place digit is greater, our given place digit will also become one step greater. Now after this, the previous place digits will become zero. So this six will become zero, and this two will also become zero. So this was the way we have solved our this question. Now our next question is. This number forty-eight thousand four hundred seven, nearest to thousand place. Let's find the thousand place in this given number. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So a thousand place is your digit eight. We need to check the previous place digit, which is four. Let's check this digit four belongs to which case? Our case one or our case two? It belongs to our case one because this, this digit is smaller than five. So in that case, if the digit is smaller, the digit at mentioned place will remain same. This eight will remain eight, and the previous place digits will become zero. Now there was no use of this ten thousand place, so we will just pick it up and keep it the same in our answer. So our answer is forty-eight thousand. Now our third question is twenty-five thousand six hundred ten. We have to round it off to nearest to ten thousand place. So 
So let's find the 10,000 place in this number. Once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So the digit at 10,000 place is 2. We need to check the previous place digit. So the previous place digit is 5. So here, 5 belongs to our case 2. It comes in the greater 1. Okay. So if the digit is greater than 5 or equal to 5, the digit at mentioned place will also become one step greater. So 2 will become 3. And the previous place digits will become 0. So the answer is 30,000. Now our fourth question is 89,84,925 nearest to lakh place. Let's round it off this number to our given place. Now let's find our lakh place in our given number. Once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. So the digit at lakh place is nine. Now we need to find the previous place digit. So it is eight here. Now let's check. This place digit is greater than 5 or smaller than 5? It is greater than 5. So if the previous place digit is greater than 5, our given place digit will also become one step greater. So 9 will become as equal to 10. And the rest of previous place digits will become 0. Let's count how many previous place digits are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's put over 5 zeros along with this 10. So here, and this digit 8 will just come same below at the 10 lakh place. As we know, this 10 belongs to lakh place. Can you just check one thing here? That can we write 2 digits at 1 place? It is wrong. We can never write two digits at one place. So we will just keep here digit 0 at leg place and this digit 1 will just go carry over to the next place. So this one will be removed from here and it will be just as a carry over over the next place which is 10 leg place. So now the number is 8 plus 1 it is 9 and then all the zeros. There are 6 zeros here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now your answer is 90 lakh. Now it's time for your homework. Do following worksheets in your mental maths book as given on page number 21 and 58. Your first worksheet is mental maths 19, question 9 to 12. And second one is homework 16. Question 1 to 16. Viewers, kindly like and subscribe my video to get more notifications and updates. And students, kindly mention your name, class and section in the comment box of my video. Thank you for watching.